Hi everyone and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. I often think about how much time I used to spend on praying and worship when I was a Muslim. After I stopped practicing and following Islam, it felt like something was missing. Then it felt like I have so much more time to do things now. I don't need to seek a bathroom and do some weird ablution and disappear for long prayers in the middle of a busy day. In fact, when I compare an Islamic lifestyle to a modern Western lifestyle now, it makes sense to me that Islamic religiosity brings a lack of productivity and social progress because you spend so much time on worship. It is probably doable for someone to fully pray five times a day and still get through the routine workday. But it is very hard for someone to do the prayers the right way, together with all the other worship, and then actually contribute to society with scientific findings and achievements, for example. To create the newest technology and introduce it to the world. To produce things that make humanity and life better. How is that natural? How is that a perfect God's expectation from humanity? If we want to have a look at the daily worship a Muslim spends time on, there are of course the five daily prayers. The first one is before sunrise. You are supposed to wake up before sunrise, do the ablution, which would take one to two minutes and consists of washing face, nose, mouth, hands, arms and feet. Then you do the prayer, which should take around five minutes. All around, preparing and getting it done usually takes more than ten minutes from your day. At noon, when the sun is at its peak, you do another prayer which is more than twice as big and can take 15 minutes and more if you do it the right way and not quickly as you shouldn't do it. In the afternoon, another prayer comes which takes about 10 minutes. Then comes the sunset prayer which is done quickly and is about as long as the morning prayer. And finally, the night prayer which can be very long. I remember as a very devout religious person dedicating a lot of time to these. In a religious Muslim's life, these prayers take about one hour or more away from your day. If you mean it, it's even more. You're supposed to prepare nicely, do the prayer slowly and thoroughly, and don't think about anything else besides Allah and the prayer. And if you happen to think about something else beside the prayer during the prayer, it is of course Satan that gives you thoughts during the prayer to distract you from Allah. <laughs> On top of all of that, you are supposed to seek the presence of other Muslims, you are encouraged to do that. And preferably you should go to a mosque. It would maybe not be a big problem if these prayers were only in the morning, or at night, or in the morning and at night. Or if you could skip them and do them whenever you want. Or if you could pray whatever you want and however you want. But no, they are compulsory and are supposed to be done exactly the way it is done. Compare this to having a boss who wants you to give him the same reports five times a day, every day. And each and every time it takes forever and there is no getting out of it. And if you skip one, he's gonna be angry with you. It disrupts your functionality, your potential for a proper life. Then of course there is the Friday prayer, where people are obligated to meet at a big mosque, or at least a community with other Muslims, listen to a sermon, and spend a lot of time in prayer. This happens at noon, replaces the noon prayer, and usually takes up to an hour. If you're in modern environments where you work, this can be a pain for employers who have Muslim employees. There is more to this, like going to special prayers for Ramadan, having significant performance issues due to fasting during Ramadan. But if we just concentrate on the prayers of the day, I remember from my own experience that most Muslims wouldn't do the prayers, even if they believe that they have to, because it is hard to do. On a quick search online to see what Muslims generally think, I found on three Quora pages that Muslim respondents mostly say that they either don't pray five times a day, that they pray only few of the five prayers, or that they often have to skip one or two and do it later. And almost all of them say that it definitely interferes with your daily life and your worldly obligations and plans. But many of them try to explain how that is justified, because Allah will reward you for your losses in this world due to your dedication to prayer. No worries, you messed up but Allah will help you after you die. In fact, if we want to check a professional source, Pew Research, we find in a study from 2012 where Muslim respondents from many countries were asked that many Muslims don't perform the five daily prayers or pray less than five times a day. The only region where an overwhelming majority prays is Sub-Saharan Africa, 
which also happens to be the least developed region on here. The study also shows that younger generations pray less than older generations. Actually, many who are familiar with Muslim countries can probably tell that the numbers at Pew Research are probably a bit off, if not by far, because too many people really don't pray, because it is hard to do, especially among younger people. When I was a religious guy in Turkey, it was hard for me to find anyone who prayed. At school or at work, I would mostly be the only person or one of five among hundreds. Now, why would this religion that claims to be coming from the almighty creator of the world make something obligatory and essential to faith that many people can't even properly follow? And most agree that it is problematic and that it heavily conflicts with your daily life. Isn't that a little bit impractical? A well-known report even says that Allah initially wanted to make it 50 prayers. But then Muhammad bargained like the superman of hagglers that he is, and Allah agreed that it should be only five prayers. Fifty prayers would mean that your entire day would be spent praying. The expectation to believe that such a thing happened between Muhammad and this almighty Allah is a serious insult to anyone's intelligence. Even five prayers are hardly doable, and most people who pray five times do it so quickly that they don't get anything from it, because it is a waste of time. This video is not supposed to disprove Islam, just give people something to think about. I'm just sharing my thoughts, but I want to say something final to those who think that prayers are more important than worldly stuff. Those who think that it is entirely understandable and justified that a person who prays also lacks productivity in this world. Over 1,400 years have passed since Islam emerged. In 1,400 years, people went from walking in the desert with sticks and believing in divine arrows and stones, to driving cars with air conditioners, using phones, developing the internet, flying planes and traveling around the world, playing video games, researching virtually everything and learning about dinosaurs, flying to the moon, starting to explore space, and even probably aiming to colonize different planets. But some people think we are just here to get through the day and spend the entire time praying. If everyone observed the five daily prayers perfectly, all of these things that I just counted would have never been possible, or maybe only in a few thousand years. It is an obstacle to progress, a waste of your life, and a very unrealistic expectation from a very unfair God. It is 7th century thinking, and I'm glad I don't do it anymore. Soon I will come to where this prayer comes from. For now, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to share. Most of my videos are not monetized and can be watched without ads. If you want to support my work, please consider supporting me on Patreon or on apostateprofit.com. Have a wonderful day. Don't waste your day. I'll be back. Stay away from Islam.